just a strict disclosure because uh, just like uh, installing any CFW on any uh, console, there is a risk of uh, breaking uh, your unit. So I strongly recommend to follow our um, procedure exactly as it is. Uh, do not skip any method or or you are really uh, risking your PS to be bricked. And if you are not confident enough, then you can just leave it to a First, let us have our USB plugged into our PS because we are going to dump our flash. And this is very important because if something happens, we need the original flash to be able to restore our PS3. So once you have a USB prepared, you can go now to our internet browser and do the following. Right, so press triangle, then go to tools, confirm browser close, set to off. Now to tools, home page, use blank, then OK, then back to tools again, then delete cookies, delete search history, delete cache, and the delete authentication information. And also run an internet connection test to make sure that you are properly connected to the internet. And if you are using a specific DNS, uh, always uh, turn it back to default. Because of the other procedure that allows you to access the big tool set that requires a specific DNS settings so no longer works. Go back now to the internet browser and enter the following address. You don't have uh, to add the www or the http colon slash slash. You can go ahead and proceed to the exact address. Now press start. If you're getting an error here, that means uh, th that you have uh, some uh, issues with your internet connection. Make sure that you have done exactly like we what we have showed you. Now, once you have seen this message, you just uh, press on yes. And once you are here, wait for the message or for the beep that uh, will come from the PS3. That will uh, here. That means that our PS3 is ready. Now, if you see some error message here on the upper right part of the screen, that means that your PS3 is not ready for the jailbreak there. So that means that the BG toolset has uh, caged uh, successfully on our PS3 and we are set to go. By the way, since uh, this comes from a different PS3 exploit and there is uh, no um, translation, you have uh, to make sure that you follow exactly what I do. So I will be very careful on this one as well. And so click on the middle tab. And there will be another verification and we should wait for that. There. You should see here the uh, PS3 uh, compatibility has a green check. So if you have a cross sign, that means that your PS3 is not compatible. If you found any error messages, you will definitely uh, be able uh, to uh, recognize that. You just have uh, to reinstall your hybrid firmware. All right, so uh, once we have the go signal here, so let us uh, click here on the first tab or on the first option. So I will uh, make sure that you can properly see this one. <laughs> so uh, press OK on your controller and click this one, the one that pops up. This will save our dump. The, again, this is very important because if something happens on your PS3, we need the original dump for us to be able to restore our PS3 back. Unfortunately, this can only be done by a professional, but uh, professional or not, if you don't have the original dump, uh, there is nothing uh, you can do to restore your PS3. Here, you are being asked where to save the dump. So since we already have the USB, let us go ahead and click the USB here and click this one, the left uh, option. This will save the dump on our US. Now, once we have our hex file, we can go ahead and check this dump to see if our PS3 is good for the CFW. But before we do that, let us also download all of the files we need to prepare for the jailbreak. On our description, you will find all of the links that you will need for this video. Just click on this area to download the file. And click on download. Now this is the file that we are going to use uh, to check our dump if it's okay or ready for the CFW. Just open the link and uh, click on the code and uh, download zip. Alright, so since I already have it here, I will just go ahead and cancel. And uh, for the multiman, let us go ahead and open the link. Click on this area to download the latest uh, version. Let us just go ahead and save them uh, on the same folder. Now back to our dump file, let us uh, open our file checker or our dump checker. So we have it here. So let us just uh, extract it here on the same folder. 
and on the extracted folder open this one and we have another file ready to be extracted so again extract it here on the same folder and here you will have the bat file now let us go back where we have saved our original dump i will just create a folder here and i will name it original and from here i will copy this one and paste it here inside our file checker now let's go back a folder and drag and drop this uh, dump hex file into this bat file here and here the uh, system will check our dump if you get some two errors with the, the ROS0 and ROS1 that is still okay you can uh, proceed with uh, the CFW but if you got some uh, further issues uh, with any of uh, the checks here then you will have uh, to uh, have uh, your PS3 checked by a professional before you can install any CFW since uh, we have a green here that means we are a go to install the CFW just have the copy of your dump uh, secured so in case anything happens uh, you still have your original dump file and uh, you can still restore your PS3 now back to our BG tool set go to the bottom area of uh, the same tab here okay this one then uh, click OK on this one and uh, choose the second option the one that ends with HTTPS so uh, this may take some uh, few seconds so let us just uh, wait uh, for it to finish and you have to make sure that you don't interrupt the process alright okay so once uh, the file has been downloaded you will see here the green check so you can uh, just uh, press OK the right option here we can go back on this part then uh, choose the bottom option this will apply the patch this is uh, the part where you can do this at your own risk all right so uh, in our case let us go ahead and proceed with our patch if you are confident enough then just uh, pick uh, the right option that is yes and uh, this may take a few minutes again uh, you cannot interrupt your ps3 while applying the patch uh, let us just wait for this whole process to complete all right so once you see this message that means the whole patch is uh, done successfully so uh, we can now reboot our ps3 and uh, install our cfw now after you reboot your ps3 and you have uh, some issues or you encounter some issues with the installation of uh, the cfw you can uh, just uh, reinstall your cfw on safe mode 